Hello, my name is Cherokee, and today my lab partner, Sarah and I, will be demonstrating an experiment today of a separation of mixtures both by size and by densities. But before we can start this, we must talk about safety precautions that we must ensure before starting any experiment. So first, you must have your lab coat. The lab coat is to ensure that you don't get any chemicals on your skin or clothes. And then next are your safety goggles to protect your eyes. And then next are your safety gloves that you must have. And then make sure to never wear any revealing clothes or open-toed shoes. That way you can't spill any chemicals while doing an experiment. So now that Sarah and I both have our safety gear on and our hair tied back, we can begin our experiment. So first, we are going to take all of our different mixtures. We have some bigger rocks, some smaller glass rocks, some sand, and some plastic rocks. So first, we will begin by combining all of our mixtures and then putting them in this plastic container. Then we will take our mixture and then first pour it in this sieve, which will filter out the smaller particles first, so the sand. And then we'll take the remaining two rocks in the frogs and put it in here and filter out the smaller rocks. And then we will take the bigger rocks and the frogs and put it in this plastic container and pour some water in there to filter out the smaller frogs by density. All right, now we will begin the experiment. First, we'll mix all of our different mediums together and create a well-mixed mixture. So we will add, doesn't matter what order, add the rocks, add the bigger rocks, add the frogs, and then finally the sand, nice pretty blue sand. We'll mix this together. Okay, now that it's fairly mixed up, and the sand's kind of off the bottom. Uh, we will move over here to the sieve and we will first pour the mixture into the sieve to separate out all the blue sand particles. You can see that all the sand has been separated from the rest of the mixture. Now we'll move over here and we're going to use this which is kind of like a bigger sieve but it's really just a basket and we'll use this to separate out all these green rocks from the rest of the mixture. We go. Now all we have is the black rocks and the frogs. Now we will pour the frogs and the rocks into the pitcher. The first two, two uh, separation steps we separated them by size and now we're going by density. Since the frogs are uh, much less dense than the rocks, all the frogs float to the top and we're left with the heavy rocks at the bottom. And you can just scoop it all out. Come on froggy, come to the top. And we have a complete separation of our mixtures.